Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Now it's Porter at you. 20 feet, give you guys some information if you live in the city. So the city of Boston is, um, they have some vacant lots that's on um, Blue Hill Ave. And if you don't know about it, you won't know about it. So they're putting these signs up. Blue Hill Ave action plan. Now, according to this, there's 30 vacant city-owned parcels on Blue Hill Ave. Uh, focus on redevelopment efforts. So I'm not too sure what that means, but so they focus on some redevelopment efforts. Tell us what we'd like to see here. So, what would you like to see in these areas, basically? So this is one of them. And this is at the corner of. Um, Blue Hill and Brunswick, right on the uh, the line going towards uh, Grove Hall. Um, I don't know all the ones that they have, but they're saying 30 of them. I, I haven't seen 30. I've seen about four or five. So maybe it's 30 going down the whole Blue Hill Ave. This is the vacant lot over here, but this one doesn't have that sign on it. So I don't know if that's considered a part of the 30. But that sign, I, I, I don't know if that's the City of Boston sign. I think that is the City of Boston sign over there. So let me cross over and see if that's the City of Boston sign. This might be one of them, but just, just not labeled. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll check it out in a second. Well, I guess this is one of them too then, because this, it is the City of Boston sign on it. So... Definitely a city of Boston sign. So they got they got another one further down over here, and another one at um, I guess you call that two two forty one Blue Hill Ave, like further down, further down. So there's a few of them. So just want to give you guys a little uh, heads up of like you know the. They are posting these things around the city. At least I've seen them on Blue Hill Ave so far. Now they're, they're basically asking people what do they what would they like to see in this area? Would you like to see a convenience store here? Would you see more affordable housing? You know, we have a barber shop, we have a convenience store. There's a laundry mat, so you don't need another laundry mat. Figure out like what would you like to see in these areas? This is the corner of uh, Interville in um, Blue Hill. And it's, it's a sign here as well. So you guys gotta voice your opinions. What would you like to see in these areas? I'm not sure if I'm giving that the whole thing a good... Hopefully the light is enough for you guys to see that. Find out more at boston.gov slash blue hill action plan so check it out you know for those of you who live in this area or even if you don't live in the area you still can voice your opinion i don't know it doesn't say you have to live in the area to voice your opinion it'd be nice for the people who do live in the area to voice their opinion um so that's basically it. I just want to show you guys you know, what's going on in the, the city. This sidewalk hasn't been um, shoveled. I don't know who will this will probably fall on the city because it's not you know, adjacent unless the church is going to claim that property. You see the, the butters of the property are responsible for doing the sidewalk. But if there's no butters against that property, then it should be the city because... That's why I, I think that's how it should work. And the thing is, even if you did plow the sidewalk, you still got this uh, snowbank right where the handicap ramp would be. So just, just gonna walk down a little bit, get a little bit of footage over here. Mm -hmm. Head up out of here. Just figure I'll do a little out and about. 
But you never seen that sign before. Right there. I never paid any attention to it. And they have a laundry mat right here, so it's a pretty decent sized laundry mat too. And you got one not too far from here up in Grove Hall, so the laundry mats are here. So that's not the the issue. The issue is what else can we put in these lots? Here's another lot just so you guys get an idea. This is right across from, um, oh wow, Blue Hill and Creston Street. Same, same setup. So there's quite a few of these around. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be all the same thing. It could be a variety of different things. This is a big open lot here too, so I don't know if this is part of all that same thing. But, it, maybe it is. I'm not sure this is, it looks like it's city owned. But then again, I could be wrong. Um, there's another lot across the street over here. So I'm going to give you a shot of this lot. There's quite a few vacant lots. And um, I don't know what the city has in mind for these lots. I'm pretty sure they, they got some wealthy investor already lined up for them. But they're trying to say that we gave the people a chance to pick what they want there. But they already have the investors lined up already. So, um, right across the street here is another one. Let's see if I can cross over and show you that one as well. This is Gaston Street, if you guys don't know. This is right across from Gaston Street. Let's see if we can cut across here without interfering with this traffic. These guys are flying nowhere. Got nowhere to go, but they're speeding. So, so these look like two, oh, either one separate lot. Yeah, maybe it's one separate lot, but you have that here too. Um, so, just want to give you guys a little footage of what goes on in the city. There's another one further down at 240, I want to say 241 Blue Hill Ave, all the way, all the way down. Uh, I'm not going to walk down that far, but there is one down that way too. And you guys should, should voice your opinion. Because we do have another barbershop here too. So there's a barbershop pretty much. There's one here. And there's one further down. So not saying we can't use another one, but if you think we could use another one, sure, why not? There's, there's a convenience store here. Oops, oops sorry. You need some help or you all set? I'm good, I got it. Thank you. Oh, all right. Be careful. As you see, this was a vacant lot here, and they put like a, um, a complex over there. Somebody told me it was a hotel. I don't think it's a hotel. I think it's just a housing complex. I don't think it's nothing saying that's a hotel. I think it's commercial space at the bottom and ho um, housing space on the top. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna go check because I, I, I doubt that it's, it's actually a hotel. I think it's just a. Um, it's a regular housing complex. Let me take a, um, see if I can squeeze across the street without interfering with this traffic. Maybe here, I'll let these cars go first because yeah, everybody's trying to get home. Sir, 
one time there was, there was a video I was doing this. I, f I forget what time I did this video. I think I was in the Fenway, and everybody and their mother was stopping for the stop sign because they thought I had like some kind of device that was detecting them for speeding or something like that. So um, I'm just gonna cut across here real quick. Thank you, sir, or whoever. Well, that's, a, that's a sir. So this definitely is a housing. Looks like a housing development or a housing complex, I should say. Nothing saying that it's a. Um, nothing saying that it's a hotel. Future chefs, uh, it's a very uh, they, they used to be over there on Albany Street. I don't know if you guys remember Albany Street where Future Chef used to be by the uh, uh, wow, the old Boston Flower Exchange on Albany Street. So, Future Chefs is here. It's basically a program for kids in, um, I believe, high school that want to better themselves in the culinary art. So it's a good thing. Matter of fact, my son was in one of those classes in his earlier years. And they, they, they got a pretty good setup here, so that's that's very good for the very good for the kids in the community to learn how to cook and how to prepare food. So that's that's a good thing. Two to chefs. Um, just gonna head up out of here. I just want to show you guys what the city of Boston has to offer us. So, anybody interested in um, voicing their concerns about you know what they want to see in this area, you know. Feel free to let them know. Um, I'm going to think about it and see what what I think should be there. I don't know. It's, I think definitely some more affordable housing. And when I say affordable housing, I mean something that people can afford, not like half half affordable and the rest non-affordable. The whole establishment should be affordable. And when you say affordable, it should meet the current standards of what people will make now, not not two households into one, you know, because what they call affordable is not really affordable. It's definitely not affordable when they, what they call affordable. like a pharmacy and a physical therapist over there. I don't know if they're open or not, but it looks like a pretty new building, so they must have some kind of activity over there. Must be some kind of Good. Never been in here before. One day I have to check this out and see like what really goes on in there.
And the funny thing about this building here, I, I always seen this building here, and I never knew what they really did inside here. Somebody told me it was like one of those um, clinics, but I never really came to find out. Maybe it is one of those kind of clinics, but I'm not sure. Mult Roxbury Multi-Service Center. I have heard about that, so maybe... But this has this been here for a while, I just kind of passed by it and never really paid any mind. So, we, we have a lot of, I'm assuming like if they're going to put something here, the bottom level is probably going to be commercial space, and the upper levels will be like um, some kind of living quarters or something like that, but they should put some kind of recreational center in one of these areas too. The kids do need some recreational centers, I know they got the croc center on Dudley Street, but this area over here, you know, you have the Rocks Bay Boys and Girls Club down on Warren Street, but Right up here, there's no real, um, that, that I know of anyway, recreational centers that they can really utilize. You know, like, or even some kind of, some kind of, well, I don't want to say trade school, but a trade school would be a good thing too. Something different. You, you want to, you know, we, we have enough. Uh, laundry mats. We have enough barber shops, enough convenience stores. You know, there's another barber shop here, and I think I just passed by one that was down there, if I'm not mistaken. And there's there's, there's almost like a convenience store in every other corner, it's, and there's liquor stores in every other corner as well. So, I remember back in the day, it'd be liquor store, check cash in place, church, barber shop, and, and then you go down the street to see the same cycle all over again, and. And we, we have a, we have an abundance of those, which is which is good. But we want to change something else up, put something else here, something we have not seen in the community. So you guys put your minds together. What can we create and put in these areas?